presence of caffeine in a rice coffee. Why did the researcher choose the study? Many poor people can't afford a really nice brewed coffee that is made up of coffee beans. Rice coffee can be an alternative product and can give you many benefits. If high blood pressure is a concern to you, then rice coffee won't trigger it. Because rice is naturally low in sojum. Sojum is the one that increases the stress and strain on your cardiovascular system as your blood pressure rises. For now, we will just tackle about the presence of caffeine content in a rice coffee. So, this is the questions that is needed to be answered. First, is rice coffee is as effective as coffee in terms of caffeine? Second, how many caffeine does the rice coffee have? Third, what is the benefits or properties that rice coffee have? This study is significant to the following. For coffee drinkers, it will be a benefit to them if they want a different coffee and with different benefits. For future researchers, this research can be their reference material or guide and for looking further they can make enhancements and changes. For students, with this research, they will have knowledge about the rice coffee. For last, for consumers, this research can help to lessen or reduce their expenses with its very low and affordable price. The process will be shown by a video presentation. This video presentation is made by other people and will acknowledge them later. First, he added rice coffee and 4 grams of lead nitrate and 60 ml of distilled water. Then, boil it for 15 minutes. Then, cool it for a bit. After that, use a coffee filter to filter the grinds. After that, add a boiling water in order to filter it much better. You can now transfer it to a funnel and add 15 ml of ethyl acetate, then shake it gently. Then, add 10 ml of chloroform and shake it again gently. Then, remove the filtered layer that contains the ethyl acetate content that is extracted by the chloroform. After that, transfer it to the beaker and boil it again. Now, put the extracted cotet to a test tube and add 5 ml of another ethyl acetate and boil it for 5 minutes. Then, freeze the liquid for 30 minutes. Then, there is the result of the presence of caffeine in a rice coffee. Results and Findings In this experiment, the researcher tested the presence of caffeine in a rice coffee. The researcher made a 125 ml of rice coffee and proceeded to the experiment. After the experiment, the results are the caffeine content of a rice coffee is 0% or there is no caffeine content in a rice coffee. Analyzing the data Based on the results given above, we can clearly see the rice coffee contains no caffeine. Unlike coffees that uses coffee beans as a product, it contains caffeine. Rice coffee can be an alternative for those people that avoid caffeinated products. There is no presence of caffeine in a rice coffee because caffeine is only present in other plants, like tea leaves, coffee beans, and etc. Explaining that rice coffee is not a plant and it is a grain, proving that rice cannot give you a kick like the other coffee products do but can give you a different kind of vitamins and minerals and benefits. Conclusion Is rice coffee is as effective as coffee in terms of caffeine? No, as stated before, rice coffee doesn't contain any caffeine. 
meaning it cannot give you an energy boost like the normal coffee that uses coffee beans does. How many caffeine does your rice coffee? It is explained that there is 0% caffeine in a rice coffee since only selected plants contain it like tea leaves, coffee beans, and etc. And again, rice is not a plant, meaning it does not contain any caffeine. What is the benefits or properties that rice coffee have? First, it has a calming effect. It doesn't increase their blood pressure as well as their heart rate. Second, is it Second, it contains the same benefits as uncooked rice. As we all know, uncooked rice is very dangerous. But don't worry, because rice coffee is toasted or brewed, so it is not risky to drink it anymore. It contains vitamins B, contains fiber, which helps in having good digestion, and has no cholesterol since it is only rice, and is low in sodium, meaning it is good for our hearts. Therefore, as explained, it is good for those suffering hypertension and heart ailments that can't drink normal coffee because it can somewhat trigger the ailments.